Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, That Model Railway Guy, and welcome to another quick tip video. Now, I think we're all familiar with tension lock couplings on model railways. Certainly with OO gauge models, it's the standard coupling that most ready-to-run products are fitted with. However, sometimes you may end up with older pieces of rolling stock in your collection, like I do with these wagons that used to belong to my granddad, and you may find that they have a different type of coupling than the rest of your stock. Now, these older wagons have what I think is some sort of buckeye connection, and as you can see, it doesn't really connect to the tension lock couplings well at all really. Now you can get something called a converter wagon which has a tension lock coupling on one end and then the older style of coupling on the other and these were made decades ago when the tension lock hadn't become the standard yet so that you could use all your wagons regardless of which type of coupling they had. Unfortunately since these are so old they don't really make converter wagons anymore. Instead though you can try making your own with the Dapple wagon kit. Yes if you saw my recent video where I constructed one of these kits and if you didn't there's a link at the top right of the video right about now uh, then you may have noticed that it comes with several different types of couplings. Now in that video I used the standard tension lock coupling for my wagon, but because these kits are pretty old they also have the option of fitting the Buckeye couplings. I've since made another one of these wagon kits and I've fitted the tension lock coupling to one end and then the old style of connector to the other and hey presto, we've essentially made our very own converter wagon. If we put it down on the track you can see that the Buckeye coupling connects up to the older wagons and then we're left with a nice standard tension lock coupling on the other end. If I run a loco in you can see it has no trouble connecting up to that at all and we can now use it to pull the wagons out as part of this train. And remember, you don't have to have the converter wagon coupled directly to the loco either. Here you can see I've added a few other wagons to the train, and now I can have a rake of six wagons, including the two with the older style coupling on the back. So there you go, another use for the old but versatile Dapol wagon kits. I think this is a much better option than getting something secondhand on eBay, as these wagon kits are already pretty cheap, you can get the fun of making it yourself, and when it's done you can paint or decorate it in any way you see fit. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little quick tip video, let me know down in the comments if you think this is a good idea especially if you have any old rolling stock with these couplings too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and hit that bell icon too to get notifications as it really does let me know what videos you guys like. But in the meantime, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!